folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We're here five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. After a long weekend, let's have a great week, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Express your love. Impeccability of the word can be measured by your level of self-love. If you love yourself, you'll express that love in your interactions with others, and that action will produce a like reaction. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 47, NASDAQ off 173, S&P is down 29. Gold, gold contract up $11.50, traded at 2035 an ounce. We had silver down 43 cents, $23.04 an ounce. Late sweet crude, down a buck, $78.18 a barrel. Copper, copper up another two pennies, trade, trading 387. That's copper's on its way to 405, folks. Big moving copper. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note up 66, trading 109.30. The 30-year up three at 118.10. And if you take a look at this 10-year, folks, okay, what we've done here is this. Come on, baby. Bring it up. Okay. So we take a look at this. And we've been testing the lows, and it's having a hard time getting away from these lows. The, we bring this up. We've been down here five days. And you can see, you know, you're at about a 50% retracement of the last move. Let's see exactly where we're at. Yeah, look at that. It's pretty cool. You're at, you're at a 50% retracement of the last move up. So bottom line is that it's got to get away from this area. And most times when you do get away from an area like that, okay, you need a sign of strength, folks. So a sign of strength is a wide price spread accelerated volume. And then we get over to the good old U.S. dollar. We get over to the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. What you have with this dollar, we get down to 103.796. Well, bottom line is that we're talking about a lower range of 103.500 area, 582. That's what it looks like. That's so bottom line, you get another rejection. And the longer the dollar stays up here, mind you, you can see uh, market-wise out here today, if we take the SPY, we take a look at the SPY. Well, I'm going to do the Qs first because the SPY definitely has lighter volume. It looks like it wants to reject lower price. Where the Qs, here's the divergence. The Qs have already got to the high volume low that was established out here last week. That price point there is the 426.33. We're at 426.73. We hit 423.50. Um, now, the volume is lighter, okay? Uh, we, we got 40 million versus 64, but we're going to end up doing 50 million. My take is that this thing's going to get down into this next level, and that level would be like the 416 area, and right now you're at 426, you know, because what's happening here is that you have a slow roll. These slow rolls are really dangerous at highs, folks, okay? You can see all these little bars, okay? So first off, you get the little bars up at the highs. Now you get, now you're starting with the slow roll. And the little bars, by the way, have been going on for quite some time, man. Yeah, so we'll see where it shakes out. Gold, my take uh, is that the gold contract has actually bought them. Let's pull this up. We came down hard and fast, man. And... Okay, so you're up 1140 right now. This has dynamite volume today, 191,000 contracts. We got to a price point of 2042. There are 2035 right now. That expansion in volume after getting smoked last week uh, is a good sign because now we're in the higher range. Once you get in the higher range, it's like, okay, man, here we go. You take this. And you're going to see, we're not, we haven't broke the downtrend yet. There's no doubt about that. It's going to be approaching this downtrend line in the next few days, though. You know, we'll, see, we'll see how this shakes out. Silver. Now, silver had a, it, it's interesting. Silver's backing down today, but silver had a, silver actually was leading last week. Yeah, and see, the back down today is just an inside day. Because this was a big move inside the silver market last week. Yeah. We, we got up to this price point of 23.51, you know, 
gave it up today, but yet it didn't get to the lows of last Friday today. So that's still a positive. And that's saying that silver does want to make its way up to 24.30 to actually 25. Hold on one second. Right. Yeah, 24.70 to 25. That's where we came down hard and fast. This will take a little to get there, but my take is that that's where it's going. Uh, NVIDIA. Let's go look at NVIDIA because NVIDIA is going to be a it's going to be all about NVIDIA tomorrow, not today. It's uh, after the market tomorrow. NVIDIA is going to be looking to do, let's do this number. If you remember the last time NVIDIA came out with numbers, man, they were explosive numbers. Um, NVIDIA went from quarter to quarter. One, the, the, first, the second quarter did $13.5 billion. The last quarter did $18.18 billion. Yeah, you heard that right. I mean... You talk about an acceleration. Now, the difference here is that they're not looking, they're only looking to do 20.48 and then bring $4.60 to the bottom line. We'll see where it shakes out, man. There's going to be a lot of numbers after the close out here to, uh, tomorrow. Uh, Walmart, Walmart came out with some big numbers out here this morning. That broke topside. That's a monster ABC structure on the way up. Let's put this on a weekly and see what we have here. Yep, that's what it's going to be. Let's see how this works. 169. Oh, it's almost hit it. 189 would be the price projection. We've already hit 181. And Walmart did. $173 billion. Imagine doing $173 billion in 90 days. <laughs> Bring in a dollar. 80 to the bottom line. It's amazing that a store like Walmart can actually keep growing. Now, they're, they're only growing at 2% a year. But uh, Sam's Club, look at Sam's Club. That's growing at 3.5% a year. Um, well, you, got, you got some numbers out here. Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 50. Nasdaq's uh, up 166. S&P's are down 29. Stay right there, folks. Come back when I'm Mr. Basil Chapman.